G'day folks, it's good to be back. It's a lovely night for a walk on the beach here in beautiful Melbourne. And it uh, feels like the right time to uh, be back on YouTube after a really long time of not doing much. Uh, yeah, there's, there's been lots going on in life and in Spudfit and um, yeah, some of it I'll tell you about, some of it I won't, I guess, or maybe I will, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we're back and I wanted to tell you about, well, I'll tell you lots about what's been going on uh, Spudfit wise. Uh, but first I want to tell you about a deep dive workshop that we did uh, last week. Uh, it's on cortisol, the stress hormone, and its relationship to weight gain. So there's a lot of, there's, for a long time, well, to this day, uh, a lot of people talk about how stress in itself uh, causes weight gain. And it, the mechanism that's most often talked about is that uh, being stressed produces cortisol, the stress hormone, and cortisol uh, acts to uh, increase insulin produ production, which in turn means that more uh, sugar and carbohydrates get absorbed into uh, cells and stored as fat, and that's what drives weight gain. Uh, now, there's been lots of studies done on this, and and nothing has been able to conclusively show that cortisol is, um, is associated with insulin production and weight gain. Not as far as I've been able to find anyway. I've spent a long time researching this. Uh, but what we, we, we do see that stress and, uh, and cortisol, oops, sorry, I've covered the camera there. <laughs> I'm out of practice. <laughs> but, uh, oh, hang on, I've got shadows. There we go, all right. So, Cortisol is um, related to weight gain. We do see that, and uh, but but it's not necessarily through that magazine. Uh, through that magazine, I don't know why I said magazine. Through that uh, mechanism, uh, at least not as far as I can tell through all my research. So what we see, uh, and there was a maybe I'll put a link in, but um, what we see through uh, through studies that have been done is that. Stress is certainly related to, uh, or can, has been related to weight gain, but not necessarily through a biological link between cortisol and insulin production or anything else. What it seems to be more likely is that, uh, well, and this has been shown, that, that, uh, that cortisol and stress uh, is related to, uh, to our ability to stick with a diet. So when, uh, when perceived stress levels are higher and, and independently when cortisol levels are higher, that means we are more stressed and being stressed makes it harder to actually stick with a diet plan that you're on and it makes it more difficult to make decisions to continue eating in a way that you uh, are proud of and that relates to your goals and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, yeah, there was a study done, a particular one that I really liked, uh, where one group of um, one group was given prescribed food, where it was delivered to them and it just turned up and and it was a calorie restricted diet, but the food just turned up on their doorstep and they just had to heat and eat it. So it was really simple. So, uh, and that that um that was uh, you know, a basic, easy to follow diet plan because the food just turned up on the doorstep. And then the other group had to follow the same uh, calorie restriction sort of protocol, but the difference was that they had to work that out for themselves. So they had to uh, do their own calorie counting, weighing food, measuring all that sort of stuff to make sure they hit the right calorie numbers. And, and it turned out that uh, independent of the perceived stress where so obviously you'd expect that the people who had to do all their own measuring and counting and tracking and weighing and all of that had some extra stress in their day because that's a bit more to do and plan for and organize uh, but still the, the uh, cortisol increased production was more closely linked with 
the calorie restriction than it was from the perceived stress of, um, of having to do all that tracking and weighing and measuring and all of that sort of stuff. So that cortisol production meant that the background stress that people are feeling, that is still flowing through your blood and, and it's uh, causing all sorts of things to happen in your body, including making uh, access to your prefrontal cortex in your brain uh, and the functioning of that prefrontal cortex uh, not quite as good. And that's a problem because the prefrontal cortex is basically the place where uh, decisions are made, where we are able to make connections with what we know to be true and use that to influence our behavior and our choices. And that, that happens in the prefrontal cortex. So when the cortisol level is higher, which happens because of uh, calorie restriction, uh, then you are less likely to be able to make healthy choices. So, uh, yeah, we, in, in the deep dive workshop, we go into, well, we went into uh, what we can do about both the perceived stress and the, um, and the calorie restriction and the hunger that we tend to feel on lots of diets. And yeah, it was, a, I was really, uh, I really enjoyed doing that one. And, and a lot of people found it really helpful and have been able to apply some lessons to their life already. And uh, yeah, it's been really nice. So uh, yeah, that's, that's the, the crux of our cortisol uh, and stress and, and weight management deep dive workshop that we did. So yeah, hopefully you'll find that interesting and, and maybe come over to the membership and check that out. So yeah, uh, as, as for what's been happening, <laughs> well, I mentioned the membership. We, we have changed a lot about it. So it's not, it's, it still has all the same stuff that we used to have with our courses on how to do the Spud Fit Challenge and the Mega Foods Plan, uh, has that stuff in it. But we've, we've expanded our courses to offer a few new things. But the big thing is that it's now on an app. So, and that's made our own lives much easier as well as our members' lives because it makes it all so much easier to navigate and find what you want. And, and plus, you don't have to you know, open a browser in your phone or on your computer to, to use the app. But it still does work in a browser. You still can use it on your computer. Just all is, you know, the user interface is so much better and easier. And uh, yeah, it all, uh, it all just works, you know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a lot better. So we're really enjoying that. And, and uh, yeah, we've managed to uh, keep the price really low. So in 2016, when we started, it was 10 bucks a month. And and it's actually seven a month now. Um, so yeah, we, we've got so much information in there. We've, there's a community forum where you can post lots of questions and get all sorts of answers uh, from myself uh, as well as other members. Then we, we've got all the courses that I mentioned. We've got a triggers library, uh, which is a place where, you know, a bunch of different, uh, whatever sort of, whatever your triggers, whether they're situational or food or thought wise or whatever, there's, it's a library that we're building with short answers to heaps and heaps of different questions. Then we've got hot seat coaching area where people can put themselves in the hot seat and get a personal coaching session that everyone can learn from at the same time. And of course, like I mentioned, the deep dive workshops, and there are a bunch of those in there and we're planning on doing one a month. We've got a, a members poll at the moment for what the next one's gonna be. And at the moment, the, the leading choice is uh, a workshop on menopause and perimenopause and how that affects weight. Uh, so I'm looking forward to knuckling down and putting that together. And uh, yeah, we've also got a VIP membership in there. So that's, it's basically you get access to all the same stuff, but there's, there's um, a lot more uh, attention and handholding from me and uh, quicker, more responsive access to, to me and uh, through I, I do an office hours thing in there where people can come in and join in with me and, uh, and yeah, get whatever help they need. So yeah, there's all sorts of stuff going on and I can't wait for you all to come and check it out. There's a free membership there as well. Uh, we've got a thing we call the one day Spud Fit Challenge. So you can 
you can check that out and yeah you'll be amazed at how much you can learn and how how much your perspective can change from just eating potatoes only for a single day uh yeah it's it makes a big difference and it can really be an eye-opening experience and yeah we really want to make this as accessible as possible and and nothing's more accessible than just doing a one day challenge. See what happens for one day and you'll be amazed at how much you can learn and, and just apply your learnings to your, your future life as well. It's a, it's a really powerful experience. So yeah, come and check that out and learn from it and have a good time. Uh, I've got a dog. Have I shown you? Uh, you guys wouldn't have met my dog yet. Ready? Ready? Come here. Come on. Hey, come here. Sit, say hello, say hello. There he is, there's Rudy. All right, go and run around, go on. <laughs> there he goes, there's the city lights in the background. Beautiful beach, I'm lucky to live here. All right, that's about enough from me. Uh, this video got much longer than I wanted it to, so uh, I'll try and keep it short next time. All right, thanks everyone. Uh, maybe in the comments below why don't you uh tell me what you think would be a good idea for a deep dive workshop and uh yeah maybe you can come and join us for that in the future uh lovely to be here lovely to see you all and i hope you'll all come and uh go to spudfit.com and check out our new free membership and uh and see what you think uh hello <laughs> and goodbye and uh Nice to see you all. Thanks for having me. And eat simply and live fully. See ya.